waking up today, my head was just really pounding, painful. Realized that I'd been cutting down a little too fast on the caffeine. So, uh, woke up, took some ibuprofen, popped one of those caffeine pills that I found, and uh, feeling a little bit better now. But uh, still definitely making an adjustment. Um, still not, oh, I don't know. I'm, you know, I maintain that this is a good idea, that it's what I want to be doing, but I definitely am already missing some food. But that's fine. It's an adjustment. Hopefully some of these uh, concerns and cravings and what have you uh, will go in the coming days. In the meantime, I uh, picked up a work shift today, so I am going to be at work later tonight. Um, my first day working in this whole uh, no food time, so we'll see how that goes, but I think I'm working the next four days in a row, so regardless how tonight goes, it's all coming. Um, anyway, day two, going strong, no food, on to the next. Alright, day two, going strong, no food so far, except for, you know, a little bits of future food. So yesterday was Soylent, um, which was interesting, um, day two we're going to try space food. Comes in these nifty little individual containers. Um, I kind of feel like it's going to make taking dinner to work a little bit easier. But just for continuity, consistency, um, I'm going to do this all day long and we'll see what the plan is for day three. Uh, but the individual containers did bring up one valid point, I thought. Um, I am going to end up having to take a lot of this food to work. Uh, so I, I need a way to make it a little bit more uh, portable. So for Soylent Days, I picked up four shaker bottles. And now instead of making up one big pitcher, I can portion out four separate meals. And, you know, just go from there. Uh, so let's give this space food thing a try. Now the so-called space food or 100% food, um, you can find it at spacenutrientstation.com. I thought it was kind of interesting because it's completely vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, like all the way down. Uh, despite the labeling here, I, this is actually from the first batch of the whey protein. Um, thought I'd give it a try. Now you may have noticed, um, for those of you who are doing some side research yourself, that when it comes to the 100% food, there is a fairly large amount of sugar in there. That was something that sort of concerned me initially, and I actually didn't, didn't notice it until uh, my first order had come in. So despite me really working to eliminate processed sugars, um, this 100% food, uh, there, there definitely is a large amount of sugar in there. Um, the company's response to adding sugar was that the short form carbohydrates like that are going to pro provide the immediate energy um, that sometimes we're looking for, and that the rest of you know, the contents are going to continue to provide medium and long term energies. So you know, maybe I'll see a difference, maybe I'll feel a difference. Um, I am going to, from here on out, be ordering only their formula with the least amount of sugar in it, um, which actually is also the lowest carb and the highest protein. Um, so, 
I don't know. It, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I feel. But anyway, let's give it a try. Well, it's it's a lot thicker than Sortland. It's a lot like you, you can feel the big sort of seeds in your mouth. Um, I'm not gonna say that the sugar made it that much drastically sweeter than Soylent. Um, the chocolate that they added, <laughs> it's a nice touch. Um, overall, it's, it's different. Um, the one other thing is where with Soylent you can keep it in your fridge all day long. Um, with 100% food, they recommend that you consume it fairly well immediately, unless you're fond of jelly. Um, given uh, for any of us who have had a hemp seed beverage, um, you know how the hemp seeds start to have that sort of gelatin around them. I imagine that's what they're describing. So I'm gonna knock it back and. We'll see how we feel.